Zoo's Fern. Drink up, little fern. Don't want you getting thirsty. Elsie's back from her holiday tomorrow, and I wouldn't want her to think I hadn't taken care of you. <laughs> yes, Pork, you've helped too. My word, Elsie's fern looks in fine fettle zoo. <laughs> she couldn't have looked after it better herself. <laughs> so, what shall we do today? It's supposed to be a scorcher later on. Uh, how about um, a trip to the park? That'll be great! <laughs> Come on, Pork. Let's see if Elsie's fern has grown since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's all dried up! Good morning, Zoo! Hey. Oh dear! What's happened to the fern? I don't know, Grandpa. It was fine yesterday. Mm. Elsie gets back this afternoon. What am I going to tell her? I, I don't know. I'm sorry, Zoo. It looks beyond help. Mm. I think the best thing would be to get Elsie another plant. But it won't be the same, Grandpa. No, it won't, but it might cheer her up. Oh. Come on, let's see if there's anything suitable in the garden. We might even find another fern. All right, Grandpa. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, Pog, it is pretty, but it's a bit big. I could take a cutting from it, but these plants don't do well in a pot. They need plenty of space. Oh, um... Maybe that rose. Elsie likes yellow. At Steady Zoo, those thorns are sharp. Hmm. Maybe Mr Zoe's got a less prickly plant we could give Elsie. Good idea, Zoo. Let's go and see. Those cacti are pretty, mm. but they have very sharp prickles. Oh, I don't think we should get Elsie one of those, Grandpa. Probably not. <laughs> you seem to have a knack for picking out prickly plants, Zoo. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here for Elsie. Hmm. Maybe there's something in Uncle Xavier's shop. Good idea, Zoo. Thanks anyway, Mr. Zoe. Bye. Good luck. It's big, isn't it, Aunt Zelda? Yes, it is. It's a cheese plant. And it's quite young. It'll grow much oh. bigger than this. Wow. Still, if it's something smaller you're looking for, how about these? They're bonsai. Very popular at the mm. moment. Um, they're very nice, Aunt Zelda. But I just wanted a little plant, not a whole tree. Something small and simple is what we're after. Uh, well, there's always this. It's for decoration, so it's not for sale. But I could let you have a cutting. Oh, I think Elsie would like that. <laughs> Here you are. Thanks, Aunt Zelda. Glad to help, Zoo. Now, you'll need a plant pot too. We've just taken delivery of some new ones. Uh, how about this one, Grandpa? That'll do very nicely. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Hmm. Hmm. Um, welcome home, Elsie. Hope you had a great holiday. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I think Elsie's going to like her present. <gasps> we'll soon find out. That's probably her now. I think so, Zoo. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm, my favourite. <laughs> There's nothing better than a fresh ripe strawberry. <laughs> Picked just this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you a present, Zoo. Oh, a looping puzzle. <laughs> Thanks, Elsie. It's <laughs> it's really tricky. I know how you like puzzles. So, how's my fern, Zoo? Has it grown? Oh, uh, not much. Uh, what am I gonna say to her? And she got me a present. It'll be fine. Just tell her. Um. I made you a card. <laughs> For me? Welcome back, Elsie. Hope you had a great holiday. Thanks, Sue. We did. <laughs> but it's good to be back. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'll, um, get your fern. Hmm. Oh, but I haven't seen your holiday photos yet. Did you take lots? <laughs> lots and lots. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Looks like you had lots of fun. We did, but we need to go and get unpacked now, Elsie. OK, Mum. Can I have my fern now, Zoo? Mm. Oh, well, you see... Oh. What is it, Zoo? <gasps> Your fern sort of... Um... <gasps> oh, Zoo, what happened to it? I thought you'd take good care of it. I did, Ozzy. I really did. I watered it. I made sure I had plenty of sunshine. I don't know what happened. Oh. Hmm. I'm really sorry, Ozzy. It was fine yesterday. <gasps> it was. But this morning... Well... Sorry, Ozzy. I'm sure you didn't mean to hurt my fern, Zoo. But... I know it's my fault, so I got you something. I hope it makes you feel better. Here you are. Mm, thank you. Oh, that's a very pretty plant, Zoo. Isn't it, Elsie? <laughs> yes, it's lovely, Zoo. Thank you. It took us quite a while to find the right one. Oh, and that pot, too. It's not quite the same as my fern, Zoo. But thank you for getting it for me. It was the best I could do. <laughs> Now, how about a nice glass of homemade lemonade? Oh, yes, please. Just a glass of water for me, thank you. And then we need to go home and unpack. One water and some lemonade coming right up. I'll help, Grandpa. Oh, maybe your fern was getting sick when you left it, Elsie. I don't think so. It's completely shriveled up. Here's your lemonade. Thanks. And your water, Zena. Oh. 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 oh, I'm sorry, Zena. <gasps> Look! <gasps> My fern! It came back to life! Amazing! Incredible! But it was all dried up. How did it get all green like that? So quickly? Yes, it's very strange. Unless... You know, I think I read somewhere about a type of fern that... Let's have a look on the tablet, Sue. That might give us some more information. Uh, oh, uh, use mine. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, ferns. <gasps> there! That looks like Elsie's fern. It does. <laughs> it's called a resurrection fern. It says here that when this type of fern gets hot or thirsty, it saves water by closing its leaves and looks dead. So my fern was fine all along, just a bit thirsty. Yes. It was in the living room window yesterday and it was really sunny. Do you remember, Grandpa? The sun must have made it really hot. You're right, Sue. So it closed up to save water. We thought it died. I knew you'd look after my fern, Sue. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't you have this plant and I'll keep my fern? <laughs> and I'll have another strawberry, if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and one for Pock, too. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo 
and the snow drift. Oh, excellent, Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've really caught that cheeky glint in your dear grandfather's eye. Hmm. Um, that was a mistake. A fly landed on my picture and I splattered it with paint when I shooed it away. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Zoo. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Not too early, am I? No, we were just finishing. Right, Zoo, get your coat. All right, Grandpa. Oh, and your mum asked if I could take you home too, Elsie. OK. Your mum not here yet, Zinnia? Actually, we're taking Zach and Zinnia home. Xavier asked us to pop by his shop, so it's on our way. We're ready! OK, let's go. Bye! Grandpa, isn't that Uncle Xavier's car? Why, yes, it is. And we had such a wonderful time when we last visited Zerbier that we thought, <sighs> why not? <laughs> and Zinny Pops had such fun in the snow, didn't she? Such great chums with little Princess Zotcha. Here's that sweater you asked to borrow, Zelda. Oh, I always thought it was blue. Hello, Uncle Xavier, Aunt Zelda. Hello. We weren't expecting to see you. Zygmunt and Zoroaster said that... Oh, my word! I'd quite forgotten. I asked them to pop round. Zinnia's with them, so she'll be OK. <gasps> Zinnia! <gasps> she'll freeze standing outside the shop. Really, Savvy, you can be so forgetful at times. Sorry, my sweetheart. I just... I... So you won't be wanting this, then? Hmm. <sighs> I don't think she really wanted it in the first place. I imagine they just came round to let us know about their holiday. They're going on holiday again? Zoo, could you and Grandpa pop down to Mr Zoe's for me, please? I need a few things. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Pock, that's not bird food. Right, Zoo, get your coat. <laughs> oh, are you two going out? Could you pop this into the post box for me, please? Of course we can. Thank you, Zoo. See you later, Grandma. <laughs> oh, oh, my word! Wow, Grandpa, look at all that snow. It must have snowed in the night. It certainly has. <laughs> well, we'll have our work cut out for us getting through that lot. <laughs> well, it's a good job they've cleared the streets. We'd have taken forever to get here if they hadn't. <laughs> they missed a bit. <laughs> My word, they certainly did. <laughs> Xavier is going to have fun clearing that when they get back from their holes. <laughs> Whoops! Ooh. <gasps> Grandpa, oh. are you all right? Uh, yes, I'm okay. Hmm. I seem to have lost my key. You carry on and post Grandma's letter while I find it. Uh, ooh. Mm. I wonder what it is. Uh, 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 ah, there it is. <laughs> Just Grandpa. Oh, hear that, Grandpa? What? Of that car, you mean? Um, yes. Maybe? Hmm. 
Well, maybe <gasps> that was what you heard. <laughs> Mr. Zoe? Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't realise I had customers. Just fixing up some shelves in the back room. Uh... Now, what can I get for you today? I've got a list. Coffee, butter, milk. Thanks, Mr. Zoe. Bye. Cheerio. Good luck with your shelves. <gasps> that can't be Mr. Zoe. It sounded like it was coming from back there. This way, Grandpa. coming from Uncle Xavier's shop. Let's have a look. Hmm. Well, the snowdrift's too high for us to see in. Puck's seen something. Oh, you might as well give up, Zarosta. No one's going to hear us. Oh. The snow's piled up so deep it's muffling the sound. Oh, oh, we'll just have to wait until it thaws. I said you could stop. I did. Hmm? Ah! It's Sue! Help! We can't get out. It's Zygmunt and Zarosta. What are they doing in the shop? I don't know, Grandpa, but it looks like they need some help. Zoo! Get us out of here! Don't worry, I'll get help. No, Zoo, come back! Oh, he didn't understand. <sighs> We're stuck, stuck, stuck! Hmm. Get a grip, Sarosta. It won't be forever. Just until Xavier and Zelda get back. But they're away for a whole week. We're stuck, stuck, stuck! Oh, and a tin of mushy peas, please, Mr. Zoe. Hmm. I do like a mushy pea. Mr. Zoe, have you got a oh. couple of spades we could borrow? Uh, yes. Y yes, I... Sigmund and Sir Roaster are stuck in Xavier's shop. Oh. Oh, what are they doing there? I thought Xavier and Zelda were on holiday. They are. Here we are. Thanks, Mr. Zoe. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, they forgot their basket. Hmm. If only little Zoo had understood what we were saying, we'd have been out of here by now. Hmm. Oh! What? Hmm? Oh. I had a small piece of chocolate in my pocket. Only it's melted. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no. What now? Is the oh. shop falling down around our ears? Oh. 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 I love that little zebra. A hero. Hmm. <laughs> well. So when Xavier asked us to mind the shop for them while they were away, we said of course we would. And we stayed at the shop last night. Lovely apartment they've got upstairs. Oh, lovely. Lovely, yes. But when we got up this morning, there we were. Complete snowed in. And if it hadn't been for Zoo... <laughs> <laughs> I expect you could both do with a nice cup of hot coffee. Oh, that would be... Amaze bugs. Oh. Zoo? Um, I'm afraid we left the shopping at Mr Zoe's. The coffee and everything. Come on, Grandpa, <laughs> get your coat. <laughs> 
zoo's mascot. Ready? Yes! <laughs> and did you remember your team mascot? You can't play your match tomorrow without it. The rules are very strict about that. Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Zowie. We remembered. Ta da! <laughs> Sorry, Zinnia. What? Hmm. There. Now it's all ready for the game. It's the best mascot ever! He certainly looks great. All you have to do now is win the game. <laughs> mm. There. Now you can see us play. <laughs> OK, everyone, let's get started. You all ready for the game? Uh, as soon as I found our mascot... It's not lost, is it? No, I mean... Uh, uh, Mummy said she'd leave it here after she cleaned it. We'll help you. And, seeing as I haven't had breakfast yet, I think I'll try this. Ooh. Ooh, who'd have thought? Hello? Daddy, um, have you seen our mascot? A mascot? I don't think so. Are you sure, Daddy? You haven't moved anything from these shelves. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> no, Zinny Pops. The only thing I've moved all day is a little cuddly zebra toy I sold this morning. <gasps> a cuddly zebra? <gasps> Got. Well, I didn't know it was yours. The customer was most insistent. I couldn't say no. I mean, this is a shop. Everything here is for sale, usually. What are we going to do? We can't play without a mascot. And the game's this afternoon. We'll be disqualified. Mm. Um, Xavier, can you remember who bought it? Ah... Uh... Oh, uh, oh yes, of course I can. It was Zena. <laughs> I'm sure she'll let you have it back when she hears what it means to you. Yes, Elsie's one will understand. But then Xavier said he'd sold you the mascot. Mascot? No, it was a model. A model? Yes, and it really inspired me. I've nearly finished my painting. You want to take a look? Mm. What? That's our mascot. Where is it now? Elsie took rather a liking to it, and as I'd almost finished my painting, I gave it to her to play with. <gasps> she must be in the garden. You like tea, don't you? Oh, yes. Tea is my favourite drink, Mr Dino. How did you know that? Hey, Elsie! 
Hello. Could we have our mascot back, please? Mascot? What mascot? The cuddly zip. The model your mum gave you. I haven't got it anymore. It wasn't bendy enough. It split. <laughs> Doing the splits. <laughs> oh. You mean it got torn? Um, yes. Oh. oh, no. Don't worry. I'm sure we can mend it. Where is it now? Oh, I gave it to Zoo's grandpa. Hmm? <laughs> We've been searching all over for it. And all the time, it was at our house. Yes, and maybe Grandpa's mending it already. Oh. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! <laughs> oh. What's that doing over there? It's our mascot! It's been used as a scarecrow. <laughs> uh, it's not doing a very good job. It's not scaring Pop one little bit. Yeah! We found it! <laughs> oh, no. Mm. It's lost all its stuffing. What are we going to do now? We can't use this as a mascot. Hmm. Um, we might be able to smarten it up a bit. We need the stuffing. Hmm. Let's see if Grandpa knows what happened to it. <laughs> huh? mm. <laughs> Good thinking, Puck. Grandpa will be in the other end. One thing's for sure, that mascot of yours has had a lot of adventures. Yes, it's been an artist's model, a gymnast, <sighs> and a scarecrow. <laughs> Grandpa, you know your scarecrow? Yes, Sue, what about it? Well, it was supposed to be our mascot, but it's lost all its stuffing. Oh, no, I am sorry. I, I didn't realise. Do you know where the stuffing is? It's quite important. The mascot's needed this afternoon for the basketball competition. All the teams have to have a mascot. Oh, dear. I gave it to Nana. She needed it for her sewing. Come on, there's still time. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, just look at this cosy little nest I've made for Pock. <laughs> it's really lovely, Nana. Pock will be very pleased with it. Well, he'll have to thank Grandpa as well as me. I couldn't have done such a good job without that stuffing <gasps> he gave me. <gasps> the stuffing? You mean, that's our mascot stuffing? Your mascot? Yes. He's not really quite the same without his insides. We can take the stuffing out of the cushion and put it back in the mascot. It'd be a pity to spoil the lovely present Nana's made for Pock. But if we don't have a mascot, we won't be allowed to play the game. Hmm, I've got an idea. Pock can keep his present and we can have a new mascot. How? Yes, Sue. How exactly? <laughs> You'll see. Can you help, Nana, with your sewing stuff? Mm -hmm. Of course I can. I'll be glad to. <laughs> And now, give a big welcome to Zoo's team and their brand new mascot. Um, where is your mascot? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Hooray! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.